the infirmary. April fourth, dearest Daddy Longlegs, yesterday evening just toward dark, when I was sitting up in bed looking out at the rain and feeling awfully bored with life in a great institution, the nurse appeared with a long white box addressed to me and filled with the loveliest pink rosebuds. And much nicer still, it contained a card with a very polite message written in a funny little uphill backhand, but one which shows a great deal of character. Thank you, Daddy, a thousand times. Your flowers make the first real, true present I ever received in my life. If you want to know what a baby I am, I lay down and cried because I was so happy. Now that I am sure you read my letters, I'll make them much more interesting, so they'll be worth keeping in a safe with red tape around them. Only please take out the dreadful one and burn it up. I'd hate to think that you ever read it over. Thank you for making a very sick, cross, miserable freshman cheerful. Probably you have lots of loving family and friends, and you don't know what it feels like to be alone, but I do. Goodbye. I'll promise never to be horrid again because now I know you are a real person. Also, I'll promise never to bother you with any more questions. Do you still hate girls? Yours forever, Judy.